No child is born in the wrong body. I am not oppressed. I am not silenced. I am a gay man. My name is Frank Rodriguez. Today I represent two families of mine within Redlands, as well as my own. I am here today because of two reasons. One is to protect children against the idea that they can, in fact, change their gender. This is because gender is rooted in your biology. However, gender expression is not. How you choose to express yourself is your own choice. Society should just simply be nice to everyone. However, lying, lying and stating that a man in a dress is a woman is delusional by definition. Not only delusional, but this ideology is dangerous to children. Despite what you may want to believe, children are in fact taking chemicals to alter their bodies. That's not delusional, it's reality. Despite what you may want to believe, children are in fact getting gender-affirming surgeries. That is not delusional, that is reality. These children are starting a journey, of a journey of judgment that you placed on them. By pushing kids to question their gender, question their sexuality, and question whether or not their parents are on their side. Therefore, the word predator is being used in the context of grooming, not because he or she is gay, but because the idea that gender is fluid, because in reality, it is not. It is a danger to children for the reasons that I stated above. Gays Against Groomers has educated the public on numerous occasions on what we stand for, and I will echo that here today. Gays Against Groomers is a coalition of gay people who do not stand for the sexualization, medicalization, or indoctrination of children. What adults do with their body is up to them, but leave the kids alone. Yes. The second reason I am here is that this board, especially Jenna, is lacking something that not long ago I was taught by my mentors. That's leadership. Leadership is not what we do, the job we have, or even the position we are elected to. Leadership is who we are, how we behave, engage and learn, but most importantly, influence. Councilwoman Jenna Lowry, I respect the position that you hold. I do not respect you. For what you have done to your constituents here in Redlands, silencing people that disagree with you, our constituents are our job description. When you silence them, you are no longer a leader, you are a dictator. I demand that tonight after this meeting, Jenna, you resign from this position.